Hi guys, welcome back to Casually Crafted. My name is Ashley and this is Crafty Chat number 22. Um, so today I'm going to show you all the things that I worked on in May. So just a few finished objects and then um, some works in progress. I'm going to try to make this kind of quick. It's like 10 o'clock at night and the baby likes to wake up at like 1030 sometimes. So <laughs> hopefully it doesn't take that long. Um, so my first finished objects are the crochet alongs or make alongs that I'm working on. Um, hold on here. So the first one is the birthstone mal AU that Judy from Witch Peace Craft is doing. Um, and I am making a um, like baby sensory book. So each month I'm doing a page and it's just textured stitches. And I'll uh, put the links down below to um, like where I got the idea and she has like the list of all the stitches that we're doing. Um, so this month I chose green and a loop stitch. I think, yeah, I think that's the right way. Um, so it's supposed to be a square, but I used um, just some sort of mystery yarn from that my grandma had given me and it wasn't very much so that's as far as I got so it's not quite a square um, I toyed with the idea of adding another green on but it wouldn't match so it would be like half and half um, but I think I'm just gonna leave it and then it doesn't have the single crochet edging either but um, I guess I could take the last row off and maybe do that but that's okay I think I'll probably just put it this way in the book so that at least the edge matches the rest and if it's not quite long enough this way oh well um she's not gonna care um and then my other make along that i did is the jada and stitches mile a minute so for may to for the colors for may um, i chose purple and that's because um may is mother's day and to me mother's day just means purple because my mom likes purple so I did a light purple inside and a dark purple outside. So there's that. And then I also joined um, Carrie Penny's make along for her Spook Your Spring, like Halloween type one. And I started this on the 27th, and today is June 1st. Um, and I finished it like the 30th so I did it in like three days um but that was like all I worked on those three days because I really wanted to to get something done um now this is a quarter to corner project and I've never done quarter to corner so um, I'm sure there's plenty of mistakes and all my ends I just um I moved to the back and I haven't I probably won't leave any in besides like the main ones but there you go it's a little boo banner a little ghost and it says boo and it goes to a point so this was interesting um the where i got it from it is it just has the graph it doesn't give like instructions um so i had to watch some like youtube tutorials on how to do corner to corner and i knew kind of like the basics of it i just had never done it um so i kind of had to figure out this bottom part on my own but I think I did it so um yeah so I'm glad I got that done this has been on my list of things to do for a while and learning corner to corner has also been on one of one of my goals for a long time um I don't think I'll do another like graphian type project it's just not my favorite having millions of little balls of or bobbins of yarn and switching colors and back and forth um but I wouldn't mind doing just a basic corner to corner baby blanket or anything like that where you don't have to change colors all the time. Um, so I think that's all my finished objects besides um, I did finish my dad's tie. Let me go grab that real quick. Okay, sorry, I forgot to grab it. Um, yeah, so I made my dad a tie using a tutorial by Fiber Spider um, and it's the Lion brand ice cream cotton blend I couldn't think of the word ice cream um so yeah I like how the colors turned out Ooh, yeah. and I dropped it um 
yeah, so there's that. That's his Father's Day gift. Um, and I think I finished that at the very beginning of May. And I think I showed it to you almost finished. So you probably didn't really care. Um, okay, so on to works in progress. Um, so I wanted to start um, a swimsuit cover. So I picked a pattern by Bag O'Day for like a women's top that you could make along to be like a swimsuit cover and I started that and I think I'm gonna okay I've decided I'm gonna frog it um it just wasn't nothing against her pattern um I think it looks a lot better in the color she chose and I didn't get super far it just wasn't I just wasn't loving doing the stitch with this yarn um I don't remember what it's called some sort of women's summer top and she used shawl and a ball and I was also just dropping stuff everywhere I was also using shawl and a ball and this is um, feng shui gray so I was using this and hers was like bright oranges and yellows and really pretty but I only got like three rows in for the main like little shell <clears throat> shell pattern and I think I would have had to make two panels this long, and I think that's partly why I didn't want to do it. <laughs> so, I'm going to frog that and save this yarn for something else, if I can. This could be hard to frog, but that's okay, I didn't get too far. Um, so then instead, I picked a different Bag o Day pattern, and I'm going to make a poncho as a swimsuit cover instead. Um, and I don't know the name of the poncho off the top of my head either. Um, I just started this the other day while we were at the park. So I'm not very far into it. So just a few rows. Um, and this is Shawl and a Cake by Lion Brand. And the color Jade Pool. So I like this color a lot more than gray. And I like the idea of starting... It's small and then getting it bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is one that she made out of um, like the bright pink and orange mandala ombre. So it looks really pretty in those colors. So I'm hoping it looks good in this too. Because <laughs> um, otherwise I don't have another backup plan for that. Okay. Dropped my notebook. So my other works in progress, I guess these are almost finished. Um, I did work on one towel cut into two to make two of the towel topper things. Um, they both basically just need buttons and like ends woven in. So the first one I did using Pamela's tutorial. So it's this owl one, which I want to use for January. And I don't know if I did it weird. I've never done it before. So this part's poking out. I need to fix that. And then add the button. And then I it's like folded weird so that it won't, like you can't see his face. It like won't lay straight. Um, so I've never done one before. So that's probably more my mistake than a pattern thing. And then the second half, I tried to use like a tutorial by Creative Grandma where um, you make kind of like a granny square and part of the granny square you have this big long thing um, hers is like a full towel and then you actually use your sewing machine to sew it on and I didn't do that I just used yarn so the back looks kind of crappy but yeah so this needs a button here and it would hang this way so I like um, her pattern I think was also ruffled kind of like Pamela's um, but I just sewed it straight across and it's crooked like the sides down more so these towels are definitely going to take me some practice <laughs> but I like how this just goes straight down and no wonky waviness I don't know um, we'll see what I decide to try for maybe the next month if I get any towels done um, so there's that um, the only other main things I've been working on have been things for 
um, farmer's market this summer. Um, I've mostly been making like headbands and flowers to make into hair clips and I'm not going to show you all those but I have a fun little box here of, <laughs> of all those that all their ends need to be woven in. The flowers need to be like attached to clips and ends woven in and stuff. Um, so there's that and then I will show you the necklaces because they're a little more exciting. Um, and most of these don't have their ends woven in either, except for the first one. Um, so here's this one. So it's just white with, like, teal and aqua beads. Um, and these are based off of, um, Kristen Omdahl's necklace pattern. But she uses fingering weight yarn, um, which is obviously bigger than crochet thread. So I've adjusted the pattern a little bit to, um like more chains here in this section and then more chains in between each bead and then also more beads in each section because if I follow I did last year I made like her pattern exactly with crochet thread and it barely got over my head <laughs> so um so these aren't like super long they but they do fit over my head hopefully other people's too but um so yeah there's that first one and then a yellow variegated like I said it ends and then the beads on these are like little square um, just little square clear things um, and then I had a bunch of beads still on the string like you put the beads on the string before you crochet um, so with the extra ones I just made so I make these big long ones that you can fold over and have like short and long or just doubled up necklace like that so two yellow ones just different styles this one the gray is red heart croquet yarn and then just different purples these pur this purple mix came together from Hobby Lobby I believe I don't know these there we go and then these last two are pretty much the same these are both um, long ones that you fold over so it's brown beads and brown string and then this one this last one same beads and same string but I did like I don't know if you can see that little sections of three together Yeah, so I basically just pick beads from my stash and say, okay, what string do I have that would look good with this? And then I kind of make it up as I go. If I'm doing like the multi-strand ones, I kind of have a set pattern that I do. Um, but as far as like just the long ones, like just depending on the beads, I'll do different amounts of stitch or chains in between. Um, sometimes I'll do a bunch of beads right in a row and then a longer chain sections in between. So they're all different and they're all just whatever I feel like doing in the moment. Um, so that is mostly it. Um, I do have a little bit of acquisitions. I know my last video was acquisitions. Um, but my mom was here for Memorial Day. She was just driving through on her way to Utah. Well, my mom and dad. <laughs> um, so she brought me some yarn from Michael's that I had ordered at the beginning of April. I had like a five dollar reward I needed to use up so I just like ordered it and had her pick it up for me. So she brought that. Sorry for the crinkling. So this is something I couldn't find when I was at her Michael's when we were there in March. Um, this is the Loops and Thread Cream Cotton, and I've always wanted to try it. Um, it is 324 yards, medium for 87 cotton and 13% nylon. And this is the color Fiery Flamingo. I thought it'd be a little more bright, but it's still really pretty. 
and then the other one is cream so just barely off white on that one um, I got two of this one and one of this I was going to make pretty sure I'm gonna make a top with those so she brought me those and then while she was here uh, we went out to lunch and then we went to Joann's because I had earned a five dollar reward to use there plus they were doing like their Memorial Day sale stuff um, so all their beads were 60% off and then they also had a 60% off coupon for a regular price item so I didn't really even look at yarn I tried to find clearance and it was like gone there was no yarn in their clearance section it was weird um, so I'll show you the beads that I got and then I got one other thing so I tried to get beads like colors that I didn't already have or ones that could go with like string that I already had so this first one I got yellow I have pretty much no yellow in my bead stash whatsoever and some of the thread I just got is like a light yellow I thought that'd be a fun summery necklace um, this one is kind of like a light minty green doesn't want to focus on anything there we go um, these are a little bit bigger than what I'd normally use so all the ones I showed you are pretty much like small seed beads but sometimes I do use um, like this um, chips of I don't even know what they're called these say glass beads on them but <laughs> I would make just like the long strand that you'd fold over I wouldn't make like the, the multi-strand necklace with these um, mostly because these tend to be a little more expensive too um, so I got these that is showing up really blue these are more like a teal so there's more green in those um, so these might be a little big than what I would normally use compared to like those yellow ones or probably what I would normally use but I liked the color so I thought we would try it <laughs> and then reaching I just got some plain red I didn't think I had any just plain red I could be wrong <laughs> and then this champagne -y color it's kind of shimmer like a got a sheen to it and then I thought these were fun with a rainbow and it's almost like they're squares and the color is like on the inside of the square the only thing I don't like is like it's red, orange, yellow, green, and then this color is like a bluish purple, but there's no blue purple. It's like missing a color. And then for with my 60% off coupon, reaching over here, I got a clover 1.5 millimeter hook. So I'm going to use this for making more necklaces. So I think that's the right size I don't know I just kind of guessed um, yeah I noticed these last time I was at Joann's I was like oh I didn't know if Clover made them that tiny and sometimes my hand can get kind of tired using that little tiny hook with the necklaces so I thought this I don't think this will be as soft as like their regular ones but still having a little grip there might help so total at Joann's I spent $15 so all six things of beads, plus this is normally $9, I got for $15. So I was happy with that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So the very final thing, I like to show my non-crochet yarny stuff at the end. Um, so like I said, my mom was here and we visited them in March. And we did some paint pouring that I had to leave there um, because it needed more time to dry. So this little guy is what I did at her house. Um, this was from the dollar store and we had a hard time with him because he's not, I don't know if you can see, he's curved a little bit. He's not flat and adding the paint I think made him even more warped. So as the paint was drying, it was just dripping off. Um, so his nose 
it was basically just yellow because it kept dripping off. So when it was done, we, we went back and added more orange there. Um, I don't know if you might need an eyeball or something. And then this hole is where they had like a string to hang them up. No idea what I'll do with them. Probably just a spring Easter decoration for next year, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. And I don't think she did any glaze or anything on that, so I might Mod Podge it. So that's my little spring chick. I thought he was cute. So yeah, that's everything. I'm not going to get into uh, life stuff at, during this one. I need to do a video of my how I did with my May goals and talk about my June goals. Um, I was a little overly optimistic for May. And I'll go into that a little bit more in that video. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.